guys uh, this is for potential transformer for small potential transformer this is for small ct transformer see here so this is for small one this is for secondary and this is for primary that means p1 p2 mentioned here so in between we take the conducting terminal that means this hole uh, we take uh, the conducting terminal for in this hole keep it in conducting terminal so we take in primary is connection 2 meter and this is for potential transformer see here uh, this is having a two windings see here the red winding is a primary and the blue winding is a secondary so the red wire is primary and blue one is secondary and so that one is shown here see these two wire is primary phase and neutral and these two wire is secondary one and these two wire is secondary two here we have a two secondaries so uh, that one is mentioned in top of the transformer also the primary is two 330 380 voltage to here and then secondary is 5 voltage and 8.5 voltage and 11 voltage so that one is mentioned in here this is for phase to phase transform that means the two phases in between primary and secondary so now we are going to see the theoretical section see here this is for really relatively installed CTs so this two wires going for meter and this one going for earth this is a three phase system uh, we have installed the three bus bar between the current transformer hi guys uh, today we are going to see transformer so first thing what is mean by transformer so simply we say transformer is a transform voltage one range to other range without changing frequency this is a small definition of transformer transformer means a voltage range transform one range to another range without changing a frequency this is a simple definition of transformer so after that we are going to see uh, the various types of transformer and how the transformer will work so first thing we are going to see the principle of transformer working. The transformer basically works for electro electromagnetic induction principle. It is in Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction principle. This is the basic uh, transformer working principle. So what is it? Any of closed loop. So any of closed loop current flowing through that closed loop, the forward and reverse, the change of electromagnetic induction, the voltage induced across that. Voltage induced across that. That means the EMF. EMF induce across that the change of any of the closed loop change of electromagnetic induction the voltage induce across that this is the concept of a transformer working so the transformer mainly having a two parts that one is primary and then coarse and then secondary primary secondary and the magnetic core so these are the three, three terminals we have in transformer so here 
current flow in primary. So this closed loop inducing a electromagnetic induction. So this is a electromagnetic induction cooperated with this magnetic core. So this magnetic core inducing a back EMF of this closed loop. So at the time the secondary will coordinate with this magnetic core. After that the current flow will generate from secondary and voltage also generate from secondary. So that time the voltage and current will transfer primary to and secondary. This transfer depending on the primary and secondary cores. If you design primary or 100 turns of primary and 50 turns of secondary. So that time we have got step down transformer. If you, if you design primary is a 50 and secondary is a 100. So we got a step up transformer. So this is a function of step up and step down in transformer function. After that we see the transformers another types. That means the first one is a current transformer and then potential transformer. The potential transformer means the voltage transformer. Current transformer. So this is the two transformers we have on here. First one is current transformer. So the current transformer is mostly used for metering, metering of reading. That means we need to measure current. So, we use current transformer. How is it possible? If there any high current conducting terminals, we put in some current transformer here and make the meter a meter. So, this is the way of we are measuring current by using a meter and current transformer. So this is the main purpose of we use current transformer. So current transformer also having a primary and secondary. So primary current transformer we are mentioning mostly for if uh, for example 200 ampere to 5 ampere or 200 ampere to 10 ampere. That means the primary is 200 ampere carrying and the secondary is carrying 5 ampere and the primary ampere carrying 200 ampere secondary carrying 10 ampere. So this is a we are mentioning current transformer. After that we are mentioning potential transformer. So mostly potential transformer having a primary and secondary like this. So on magnetic core also having here. Already I said step up and step down transformer. So like this the compared with the number of turns if you, you, are, if you have a number of turns in higher from primary and compared to secondary. So that one is a step down transformer. If you have a lower primary turns and higher secondary turns that one is a step down transformer so that's the thing we are following in here so how this this happened the step up and step down for comparison for e s that means the emf induced in secondary that means compared to the multiple of emf and es and primary sorry secondary emf and ms number of turns and secondary and then ep the primary emf induced total emf the ep int and e that means the number of turns this is the formula of primary and secondary emf induced how this is different from others the emf nothing to change from primary and secondary so that means the force no, that means the any of force not created, any of force will not matter. So that's the concept to EP and EE. So EP and ES, that's same. 
So here only possible to we change E, N, S and N, P. That means the number of tones in primary and number of tones in secondary. So if we have a number of tones in secondary is higher, the step up transformer. So if we have a number of tones in secondary is lower than primary, the step down transformer. So this is the main purpose of transformer working on the pipes. If you have any doubts, please come on here. Don't subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See about two videos are for you only. Uh, thank you for watching. Created with free version for non-commercial use.